everybody and welcome to Cole's Place. My name's Colin, great to have you along and thanks for tuning in to another video. Okay, so uh, Saturday afternoon, uh, 16th of September, I'm in sunny, well, almost sunny Southbourne in Bournemouth and uh, today it's the day of the big charity firewalk in aid of Amelia's Rainbow, a charity based in Dorset, helping local disabled uh, and terminally ill and chronically ill children. So today, yeah, it's a big fire walk. I've got to walk barefoot over five meters of hot coals. Okay, so uh, just arrived. Um, there's a little bit of a party thing going on. They've got a DJ, some side stalls, raffles, that sort of thing. Uh, so in about 20 minutes, we're going into a training session uh, and then coming out and then everybody's taking it in turns. I think they've got about 15, 20 people who are actually going to do the fire walk itself. So. I'll show you around and show you what's happening uh, and then when I come out of training, uh, Saf's with me, she's going to film me doing the actual walk itself. So uh, listen, I'll pop a link down below for the charity itself, the website, and I'll also put my Just Giving link as well if you want to donate. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up and there's a little uh, bell you can push for notifications when I'm putting up a video. Okay, so uh, sit back and enjoy it, watch me suffer, watch me stress and uh, if you feel like donating, as I said, the link's down below. I'll uh, show you a look around. Okay, so uh, that's what's going on today down at the Reaver Cafe in Southbourne. Uh, it's a big firewalk 2023 for a fantastic charity, Amelia's Rainbow. And I've got with me now uh, Farah, who is from Amelia's Rainbow. So uh, she's going to tell us a little bit about the charity and what they do. Hi everyone, um, Amelia's Rainbow is a Dorset based children's charity and we've been raising money for well over 10 years now, maybe even well over 12 years, to make sure that children and young adults in the area are able to live their lives in the best way possible. Often these are short lives, these are children with serious illnesses and serious disabilities and we make sure they have holidays, treats, we turn up at Christmas, we are also um, fundraising at the moment for a second holiday home and also keeping our beach hut open throughout the summer. So everyone's sponsorship today, your sponsorship yeah. today, yeah. is going towards a wheelchair adapted caravan. So we really appreciate all the supporters that you've been getting behind. Yeah. And I'm gonna have a good laugh at you when you're going <laughs> across the firewalk later. So Are you having a go at yourself there, Fab? I have got to support you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I've just done the Lego walk and yeah. Um, it's yeah, it was painful. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I'm looking forward to it. I, I don't know what to expect, um, but all for a great cause, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, it's been yeah. really grateful. You yeah. guys have raised so much money. It's yeah. absolutely fantastic. So yeah. we'll keep you posted about how how it's going to happen for the rest yeah. of the uh, rest of the year with the new holiday home. But yeah. we're yeah. so grateful, so oh. grateful. Yeah, so. and I appreciate it. A lot of the guys who watch the uh, channel have uh, chipped in as well on the Just Given page. Yeah. So big thanks to everybody. And uh, thanks, Farah, thanks for your time. Well, thank you. Let, let, let's have a good laugh and uh, yeah, raise, laugh. raise some cash. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, thanks everybody. I'll stick a link down below to the charity website and the Just Giving. Uh, so do what you can for me, I know you will. And uh, here goes a uh, bit of training, and then uh, you lot can watch me stress and burn myself to a crisp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a bit. Hey, the firewalkers and the crisp fans, we want you to come inside the firewalk area. It's going to happen. We're going to light the fire and then around about 45 minutes time we'll be walking on it. Okay, for all the children watching, do not play with fire. Do not touch flames, do not touch hot things. You will end up in hospital. So, here we go. We're now ready to light the fire. Okay. 
Well done, big round of applause for our fire starter. Woohoo! Okay, so some of you might be looking at the fire thinking, that looks a bit big to be walking across. Don't worry, in about 40 minutes' time, the fire will look a little bit different. The flames will still be there, but they'll be back to one side, but it'll be nice and flat the bit that you walk on. So you don't need to do a high jump when you do the fire walk. It will look very different in around about 45 minutes. All the pictures that we're taking today, tomorrow morning will be on Facebook. You don't need to remember our Facebook address. Your certificate say ukfirewalk.com. Click on there, click on the Facebook link, and you'll see all the pictures. So take a few pictures. In a moment, we're going to take the walkers across to the Commodore. We're going to do the training, and then around about 40 minutes time, they'll be back to do the fire walk. <laughs> What will you do down here, walkers? Wipe their feet. They know what they're doing. Spectators, what are you going to do when they get down here? Yeah. Clap, cheer, go crazy. Okay, I think we're ready to start some fire walking. Okay, we're ready to see a fire walk. Okay, here we go. to clap and cheer too much when I get down here but when we get our first walker across we're gonna have lots of clapping lots of cheering if you want to come up to the front there so whenever you're ready you can go nice consistent pace wipe those feet now go crazy guys i hope you enjoyed that that was great great fun i really really had a blast doing that it was a strange sensation um we went into training basically you go into a training over the road into the pub uh, the guy who was on the microphone scott uh, he talks you through it what to expect what not to do what to do etc so it psychs you up a little bit it has to be said uh, they did a, a demonstration where he uh, like the magician's trick with the arrow against his throat and it snaps he said that's more scary than doing a fire walk uh, and he goes i'll go first then it's down to you lot and uh, he said deep breath and just go for it and uh, that's what you've got to do and yeah strange sensation you do feel a heat but you do feel as though you're walking on stones more than the heat if that makes sense and you can taste the smoke and the fire but oh absolutely fantastic and uh, yeah it's a big big adrenaline adrenaline rush so uh but hey i did it twice not once i did it twice so uh, all good fun so yeah hope you enjoyed it uh, a big thanks to everybody at uh, uk fire walk who were the guys who uh, did the, the actual fire itself and of course the fantastic charity uh, amelia's rainbow uh, based here in dorset and they help uh, as uh, farah said uh, disabled children terminally ill and uh, chronically ill children uh, just help them along a bit and give them some treats and uh, support in life so the links are down below i've put the charities link down below and my just giving uh, link down below uh, if you'd like to donate so yeah hope you enjoyed it don't forget if you're new to the channel subscribe hit the thumbs up do all that for me as well and uh, a big big thank you to everybody who watches the channel uh, who supported me thanks to me mates as well who don't watch the channel they've uh, chipped in as well i think it's heading towards a 200 pound mark thereabouts so uh, well worth it absolutely fantastic and i've had an absolute buzz so uh, yeah thanks for all your support guys i really really do appreciate it everybody who sponsored and donated and uh, i'll see you in the next video take it easy